Okay, guys, so 37 weeks, 14 days. Can you believe it? I sure can. Let's jump right in. So according to Baby Center, the baby weighs about six pounds and a third of an ounce and is about 19 inches long. And right now they're still considered preterm, um, they won't be full term till 39 weeks, which is when my induction date is. But I turned 37 weeks exactly on Halloween. So you guys get to see my 37 week update in my Halloween costume. And then this is towards the end of my 37th week. So I wanted to make sure that you guys know how I feel throughout that whole time, not just on that 37th week day. So this week has been actually pretty good. Um, a baby is doing well. I didn't have a doctor's appointment this week because he wanted to wait and we just did a second week. So we go in in a couple of days for my 38 week checkup and then we deliver at 39 weeks. So yay, I'm so excited. Today I have exactly nine days until I deliver. We're in single digits, people. Thank your goodness. Um, so what has been happening with me this week? Baby has been moving like crazy. He's actually moving right now. So if I jump or move, that's why. Um, <clears throat> Curtis actually felt him last night and was like, ew, <laughs> because he's like, it's different when you can actually feel like their leg, their whole leg, like rolling over you. I said, yeah, it is. So you can actually feel him and feel like fully like legs and that kind of stuff. So it's kind of cool for me, I think. Um, <clears throat> I think if it is possible, he has dropped even lower yesterday. Um, I went to church. I work with the kids, the children in our church. I'm in the primary presidency and I had to go out in the hall and I was leaning up against the wall trying to kind of get comfortable and our secretary is like are you having contractions or is your back just hurt and I said uh-huh because since I've always been put on Pitocin and my water is always broke I've never really had contractions I have a really high pain tolerance and so I've never really felt contractions unless they were Pitocin induced and I've been getting contractions the last couple weeks um, there was a night this week that was really, really bad. I didn't sleep hardly at all and it hurt, but I think he's dropped more into my pelvis even more and it's kind of weird to feel him moving around like below your hip bones, like when you can feel his hand or his head move and it's that low is kind of weird. Also, this may be TMI, but I think you guys need to know this stuff. Um, I've had an increase in vaginal discharge, so it's not like cloudy or anything. It's clear and I've been like wondering if it is, um, my water breaking. So I go to the bathroom like 30,000 times a day and pee enough to fill a cap full and just sit and wait for it to stop to make sure that my water hasn't broke. My water has broke with both my other two kids, so I do know what that feels like and that it just doesn't really stop, it just kind of keeps going. So I know what to expect there, but you always second guess yourself, no matter if you've been there before or not. So I still kind of love doing that. Um, my mucus plug, if they say, your mucus plug can come out anytime in the next few weeks. Um, I noticed some discharge before this that kind of had a different colored tint to it, but this doesn't really have, I mean, there's a little bit of a tinge to it, but nothing really. Um, it smells different though, so I'll be talking to the doctor about that. Don't know what that means. I'm sorry if this is TMI for you, but I figure if you are watching this, you are probably pregnant, and this is stuff that you wanna know. So there you go. Um, Sleeping has actually gotten a little bit better in the last two days. The beginning of this week was horrible. I could not sleep to save my life. Pregnancy pillow is a must, but I still couldn't sleep. The last two nights have been much better, though. I think 
um, because I've used my zappers on my arm and my shoulder and stuff to release the pressure in my muscles. It has helped and my carpal tunnel isn't quite as bad so I've been able to sleep a lot more soundly the last little bit. I have been a lot more hungry lately but I can't eat very much at one time. Like food sounds good and it tastes good but I can't eat very much at one time. So I've been eating more frequent meals that are smaller. Uh, my feet, everything is still swollen and I've gone from the John Wayne walk or strut to kind of a penguin shuffle. Yesterday when the baby dropped, even more we went for family dinner at Curtis's family's house and everybody's like, oh, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I just can't really move. Um, it feels a little bit better today. I feel like I can kind of walk, but it's still, he's dropped low. So hopefully that means he'll be coming here in the next little bit. Um, that's really it, guys. He is spreading out and moving like crazy and pushing everywhere. <laughs> I just randomly jump and move because he just is going crazy. Um, but everything is going good. We're in for the last nine days. Nine days and he will be here no matter what. We get induced at 39 weeks. Um, so you guys know I do have some videos ready to go up after that time. I will be taking probably a little bit break of a break because I'm the only one that does the editing and I'm the one that runs the channel. So hopefully you guys understand that I'm probably going to need a little bit to recoup and to go through things. I'm trying to film the birth. We'll see how much I share, but I definitely want to share some of it with you guys. So... Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and like this video. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.